Pokemon Go or Pokemon No. Good morning, YouTube, my wonderful, beautiful, you're so beautiful, precious brothers and sisters on this glorious Thursday. It's a beautiful day. Give God the glory today. Thank him that we have one more day. Amen. One more day to spread the gospel, the good news of salvation to a lost, a lost and dying world. Good morning, everyone. First things first, Pokemon Go. First things first, I'm going to share a little bit of my coffee with each and every one of you. Let me know what you are going to partake in this morning. Are you having coffee? Are you having iced tea? Are you having lemonade and green tea? Dr. Pepper, did you eat breakfast yet? Did you? If you did, I'm hungry. What did you have for breakfast? Get your little fingers typing in the comment section below. We'll do that now. Are we about to see the world in chaos, the great tribulation? Are we about to see martial law on the streets of the United States of America? And is it all done with mind control, the Illuminati, the evil, evil Illuminati, and the occult that is tied in with the Antichrist system in the world today to bring about the new world order in a one world government and a one world religion? It's all happening, it's all happening, it's ramping up quickly. What has this got to do with Pokemon Go? We're going to talk about this. Uh, the distractions, the civil unrest, uh, the protests in the streets. First, you got Hillary Clinton uh, facing a grand jury indictment. Uh, no charges, says uh, 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 the director of the FBI, James Comey. But she still uh, violated all of these laws, and just because she's uh, inept, do, uh, uh, and she's still running for president of the United States. While well, this is going on, then you have uh, these men that were shot by police officers. Then you've got protests and uh, civil unrest going on and by police officers shot dead. And then you've got the Attorney General of the United States, the Attorney General that should know the law of the United States, going before Congress and she's not answering any questions. And what happens in the mix of all of this during this election year? Pokemon Go comes on the, out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Let's talk about this for a moment. Pokemon Go. I say Pokemon No. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Just a brief moment of your time. Pokemon Go. It seemed like it uh, just uh, came out overnight. Came out of nowhere. And uh, some people are saying that it's uh, a good way for young people uh, today to get off the computer and uh, the video games are locked in their house and to get them outdoors and to get them to go into parks. And now it's come to my attention that a lot of churches, the youth groups, are playing this Pokemon Go. Is it harmless or is it a part of the evil, evil Illuminati, the New World Order? Is it a part of mind control? and a part of this evil, evil uh, Freemasonry. When you look at the symbolism and you look at the colors, the red and blue. I want to remind everyone what uh, happened with Pokemon on an episode, and it has to do with the colors that you see here, red and blue. I think we, we, we need to remind everyone about this, uh, the banned Pokemon episode that gave children seizures, and it has to do with this uh, flashing uh, in the episode, the flashing red and blue, as you see below. What other, what other mind control uses this red and blue to control you? The episode called Electric uh, Soldier is now part of Pokemon folklore, centering around the adventures of Ash and his friends as they travel inside a uh, Pokeball transmitter machine like CERN, maybe. Its story and premise are innocent enough. The machine is broken and the kids embark on an adorable little cyberspace adventure to fix it. What caused all the problems were the animation techniques employed in the episode. There comes a point uh, around 20 minutes into the show when Pikachu uses his lightning attack to blow up some missiles because they are virtual missiles. And Pikachu is currently residing in Pokemon's version of cyberspace. A 
space, rather, a regular explosion just wouldn't look right. So what happened? So the animators used a rapidly strobing technique, strobing technique, red and blue, that flashed red and blue lights on the screen pictured above to make the explosion look virtual, like something you'd seen in Tron on the Lawnmower Man. And then all HE double toothpicks broke loose. Straight away, children were struck down with various ailments. Some kids passed out or experienced blurred vision. Others felt dizzy or nauseous. In extreme cases, some even experienced seizures uh, and cases of temporary blindness. I want to remind everyone of what happened. Now we've got the masses. This is a, this is a, just exploded out of nowhere. Everyone is walking around with their cell phone playing this Pokemon Go. Uh, is this a form of mind control by the Illuminati using the colors of red and blue? Uh, part of Freemasonry. Let's take a look at uh, just a couple of examples uh, of what will uh, make your heart uh, start racing, your palm sweaty, your uh, Maybe your leg shaking a little bit uh, when you see the colors red and blue. Just uh, hang on a second. Why do police cars use red and blue lights? Let's uh, investigate this. As you can see, the flashing strobe, and they're like a strobe light. They are a strobe of uh, red and blue. To Is it a form of mind control? To uh, control you, to get you to, well, it's to get you under their control to have you stop. Real quick, I'm not gonna read the article. This is from the Epilepsy Foundation. Police lights and epilepsy. Hello all, uh, I've now been diagnosed with a seizure disorder for almost two years. I'm on 900 milligram, I can't pronounce the drug, daily, which seems to keep me fairly controlled. Save a couple of breakthroughs every other month. On July 4th, I attended a fireworks show with a friend the event was uh, massive and there were city police everywhere. At one point, there were four squad cars, all with light bars on, less than 20 feet from us. Usually, police lights give me a weird feeling, but never send me into my normal tonic clonic seizure. After a few minutes of sitting in the dark with no light but the police lights, it began to really bother me. It's hard to explain the sensation, but pretty similar to my normal auroras. After that point, I decided to cover my eyes and wait for it. This helped until one of the cars moved and its lights began to uh, refract uh, on the building behind me so that there was no way not to see it. This went on for 20, 30 minutes. Thankfully, I never seized. Let me share one more quick. And this is just a quick article from Expert Law, Police Strobing Flashlights. Are causing epileptic seizures, causing people to uh, uh, have a seizure and to uh, be killed in automobile accidents. And the little strobe lights that they uh, sell, we can put the little different color lenses on, red and blue. Red and blue, remember that, red and blue, uh, have been uh, the topic, uh, focus of uh, discussion on many, many forums regarding safety issues and causing, uh, don't look directly at, at the strobe light, uh, uh, the laser, rather, uh, the red or the blue, and you can have seizures. And you can see the colors in Freemasons. Red is the color of fire, and the fire was to the Egyptians a symbol of the regeneration, of the purification of souls. Hence, in the Masonic uh, system, red is a symbol of regeneration. Thus, red is the color assigned to the royal arc uh, degree, since that degree teaches the regeneration of life. White and blue is the supreme color. It's the supreme color of masonry. So this is part of the occult. They used it in uh, Pokemon. In closing, I just want to get uh, uh, all of your opinion on this uh, with the uh, disclaimer for the Pokemon Go uh, app. Uh, uh, you have to agree to their terms of service uh, kind of like YouTube, you got to allow them access to your phone, access to your camera, to all of your personal information, and uh, they can control you and uh, 
kind of like uh, like YouTube. They make their own laws, and you can be uh, held liable. They can uh, um, even uh, come after you for any type of uh, what they believe criminal activity. Let me know in the comment section. I say Pokemon no. It's demonic. It's part of the occult, Freemasonry. It's part of the uh, evil, evil uh, Illuminati mind control. Youth pastors, churches, stop, stop allowing these youth groups to play this Pokemon and go. It's demonic. It's not pleasing to a holy God. If all of this isn't enough, tomorrow, tomorrow the 15th, the day of rage. Talk about BLM and all of these protests across the nation. Tomorrow, let's go take a look at the day of rage. I just want to touch on this briefly as well. Be aware, but not there. We'll see about that come tomorrow. National Day of Rage scheduled for July 15th, 2016. Use this as a list of places not to be tomorrow, Friday the 15th, while the video by Anonymous does uh, specify nonviolence and denounces the actions taken against police officers that were not involved in these deaths. With the tagline, a day of rage, I think it's safe to expect emotions to be running very high on both sides of the law, no matter how great your empathy might be for those who have unjustly lost their lives. These protests are not safe places to be. Sometimes the Lord calls you to places uh, to go to where the sin is. Jesus said uh, to the Pharisees, it's not the well that need a doctor, it's the sick. And uh, let's go down the list. Detroit, Detroit, Michigan, 7 o'clock p.m. Campus, Marius Park, Detroit, Michigan. And it's uh, right off of Michigan Avenue in Woodward uh, in the heart of downtown Detroit. I'm talking about that. In closing, I have a strong, strong urgency, a nudging, if you will, from the Holy Spirit to attend the Day of Rage downtown Detroit tomorrow, to just go and just want to give people a hug and tell them that I love them and that Jesus died for them. I have this urgency, this nudging. I can't find anyone that will go with me, and uh, that's okay. And if something did happen to me, which I don't have that fear, I have on my whole armor of God, I don't fear these things. But what better way to go to Jesus than spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ? It would be an honor. But it's the devil is working against everything. The devil is just furious with our ministry here uh, and our outreach. Um, you've got a lot of watchmen, real watchmen, that have uh, put out the warning. You've got uh, many of them on there. Uh, Drew Bloom, 34, who I love dearly. You've got Ryan. I don't know, should we call Ryan a watchman? I don't know his heart. Only Jesus does. He seems like a very nice young man with a beautiful, beautiful daughter, but he has used some words that uh, uh, are not really Christian-like. A born-again Christian, and there is one that is coming in that claims to be a born-again Christian that is just spewing filth, filth, and admits that they have a problem with profanity. A born-again Christian filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will convict you. You're not going to spew this filthy language from your mouth. All of this right after this ministry was blessed by Sister Ellen with finally we got a vehicle to go out now. I don't have to use other people's vehicles to go out and uh, work our homeless ministry. On top of that, it's been there's been no rain. It's been in the 90s for the last month and no rain, no rain means no work for me. Uh, people aren't getting the landscaping done. I'm a subcontractor. Lawns are turning yellow. They're, the grass is not growing. Thankfully today it rained for the last two days. We got some rain. I've got one job this afternoon. 
But you see how the, the devil works, the ministry gets blessed, the devil gets furious. And uh, um, financially, I don't, out of our own uh, finances, have the money. Nothing is really coming in. We've had one offering, uh, and I reported on this yesterday for $25, but we're not, uh, the ministry's not being blessed to where we can, we've got supplies for the homeless, but we don't have uh, food to feed them. And this is all the devil doing this, all of the devil. Uh, and it's a, a long trip. It's uh, about 140 miles each way to Detroit. Uh, so we don't have the money to, to do the homeless ministry right to set up. I'm going to set up food tables. But to take the expense out of my own finances, which I would do anyway, not out of the ministry, to go to this uh, uh, day of rage, uh, I'm just praying because I feel the Holy Spirit nudging me, nudging me to go. Ministry announcements, of course, of course, the devil is dancing with the light. Um, people, you've got to have discernment, you've got to pray. Uh, uh, stop listening to these people. These people are not watchmen. These, these people are not watchmen. One person, I will say just one, not these people, some are, some aren't. But there's one person in particular people are listening to is not of God. This is not a born-again Christian. This is not uh, uh, pleasing to the Father. And, and it's just uh, terrible. It's just terrible. Uh, I'll put the link below. I'm going to find a way. I have to find a way, if at all possible, to go. I feel the urgency to preach to these people and to let them know that I love them that all lives matter and Jesus paid the ultimate price for not black not white not Hispanic but for all all lives do matter and to give out hugs I'll put a link to our ministry below God bless you today